What is up, people? How the hell are ya? Tyler Nolan, welcome to my kid channel. So all frozen stuff, um, before all this came about, I did a pretty big order. This is not even a quarter of the order. I got my whole freezer is full of rice right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get everything out, defrost that. While this is all defrosting, we gotta clean some cages and do some water bowls. So I'm gonna get all this stuff into the sink and then get back to cleaning. All that stuff to frost. Let's clean some cages. Get out my big Egyptian banded Naga Analipra, Snouted Cobra. Same thing, big ass African Cobra. Got a dirty old cage. I'm gonna switch him on to some different bedding too. So, this guy I'm actually gonna do, uh, oh sorry, I appreciate the garbage. Man. I'm gonna do him. Oh look, he's, is he, sh is, is this a stuck shit or is it just coming off still? Let's see here. He's getting really long. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's... Is he done growing? He's pretty he's much done. full grown. Yeah, he just started shedding the shed off of his thing, so he hasn't even shed the rest. It's not even really ready. I was going to say, I would get on there and I would help him get that part but he's awesome dude I love this snake I've had this cobra for 14 years already it's a long long time big boy doesn't really hood up too much doesn't really try to get me too much he's pretty chill awesome great bands really nice contrast on those bands it's almost yellow and brown and then like this dark dark gray color. It's almost got a brown hint to it too even. There's a little bit of hood. They don't really have real wide hoods like other Cobras. They kind of see. They kind of have these like, they're really narrow hoods. Still really cool. Dope snake. He's in the background all the videos. Just like Beetlejuice, relax bro. Background to every video. Killing my audio bro. <laughs> Alright, let's get this thing cleaned up. Alright, time to put this guy back. Now, dude, look at this freaking cobra. Now, watch. Like, this is one of those snakes where you see. He just, does, he just chill, man. I could just go right into the bucket. You can't do this with every snake, you know what I mean? Especially with the cobra this size. I could just go right in his bucket, take him out nice and calmly. I'm not trying to piss him off. I'm not, we're not doing like what Justin and I were doing the other day with the, with the Indian, or the, with the Sri Lankan, not Indian, sorry. The spectacle. Oh. You know, he's just a super chill cover. And now he's got a nice new cage, nice substrate in there. Go that way. Nope, go the other way. Come on. Go up. Go up, bro, I think. It's just now he's got just more in there for him to, you know, maybe feel more secure, feel a little bit more cozier. It's definitely more of a pain in the ass for me to clean, but Maybe they'll be happier like this. That's that. Oh, the stupid lights already messed up. 
Kila, what's going on, bro? Lights are spazzing out already. All right, next. Over here. Crazy Monica. Hey, dude. So this guy was getting some nose rubbed for a while. Because he's a freaking jerk, bro. He comes flying out of the cage every time. Why? Relax, bro. Chill. I'm not even like... I ain't fuck with you yet. Come on. Why not me? I'm gonna feed you too, bro. I got food for you. You better be nice. You better be nice to me, man. This cobra's wild. He's a crazy ass cobra. He's crazy, man. He's just like on edge. Relax. Relax, dude. Relax. Relax. Relax, bro. Normally he's my best hooding cobra. Like normally, I can pick this guy up like this, and he'll just stay hooded up, and he'll stay, he'll just stay hooded the whole time. He's great. But right now, obviously, he is not cooperating very well. So I'm just gonna put him in the bucket, be safe about the whole situation, because right now is not the time you want to get bit by anything. Let's get this cage clean. Stop hissing. Relax, bro. Relax. Relax. Jeez. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. Why are you so crazy? Fussy little snake. Alright. Next. Boom. Clean off this hook real fast. Alright, so. Hey, Gabby. One of my favorite snakes right here. Just such a pretty snake, man. Like, look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Like, this is a beautiful animal. You look at the pinks and the peaches down her back. Pattern. The head on that snake, man. It's just like, you cannot beat that. All right, let's put the soul girl back. Now you notice I like to use the thicker hook for her. Just because she's a thick girl. How I like it, nice and thick. Look at this baby. It's a pretty snake, man. Relax. Nice, and I got some Aspen. Good to go. All right, so next up is the sunset. Where are you, sunset? Damn, you can just filthy. See, that's what I'm talking about, about cobras being filthy animals, man. They just, their cages are filthy. This cage just, just got cleaned like five days ago. All right, it's already filthy. Relax. This cobra doesn't really cooperate very well. It's not a very good hooding cobra. She's more of like hood down, charge ya. Be crazy. Still, beautiful snake. Lots of orange on her. Maybe she'll let me show you her hood real fast. Cause this snake is honestly, it does have a beautiful hood. Like look how orange that hood is, you see? Open up. Nice. Open your hood. Come on. Let's go. Can you see that orange? Come on! It's not cooperating. This cobra, like I said, is not a very good, not a very good show cobra, not a very good hooder. Another thing, somebody asked me, one of my friends asked me the other day, she was like, oh, what does that mean when you say that cobras do that thing, you're trying to get them to do that thing. Hood up is what I'm trying to get them to do, hood up. So when you get the cobra's attention, it hoods up. 
That's what it's called. Clean your cage. No, what are you doing? You stay in the garbage can, Mr. Cobra. Come here. Back in here. Thank you. Alright. Stay back. Oh, you fuck. Relax. Relax yourself, Kobe the Cobra. I think that little piece off was driving crazy. There you go, sweetheart. Nice, fresh cage for you. Next, this guy. This cage ain't bad. Penny just needs some water. Need some water there, Penny. Yum, yum. Hey. Look, I have you, I got water for you. It's right inside your cage. Drink it. Thank you. <laughs> Feed the Sri Lankan. This guy always has a great feeding response. Hey you. Look. Look, 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 look. There you go. Perfect. That's what we want. Monocle. Dude, chill. What the hell's your problem? Let's give you a big one. Yeah. Look, look, I got food for you, dude. Look. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, nice. Cool. That's that. Gaboon! Alright, now I want you to make sure you get a really good shot of this. This is explosive. The way that gaboons eat is one of some of my favorites. They just grab a hold and just let they don't let go. Grabs old. Great, all right, I'm just gonna put it on her hide box. She'll eat it later. Weird, normally she always just grabs it. Always. She grabs it, holds it straight up in the air. But I guess not today. Ain't cooperating. Ain't cooperating. Oop. Hello, Miss Sunshine. She'll smell on you. Now we got the healers. Let's see here. Corona, what's up, bro? <laughs> Give you a wrap up. Wrap up. Would you like a wrap up? Yes. Nice. Let's give uh, Sheila. Here you go. Go, sweetie. Nice. Nom, nom, nom. Yum, yum. Delicious. Alright, Beetlejuice. 
give you big guy. Uh, let's see here. Maybe one of these. Sure. Give you a big boy. There we go. Kill it. And now he's right there. Let him do his thing now. Alright. Now, my favorite thing to feed lately. Just because he's been so crazy. This indigo. This indigo is wild. Yeah. Oh, like four of them things in there. Yeah, he hasn't been too fond of the rats lately. But he's all about these chips. And then we got this little, this little monocle down here. Who is crazy. It only comes flying out of the cage. I'm surprised it hasn't come flying out yet. Oh, I guess I fed those larger rats to the other guys. Think you can eat that? Yeah. Hey, look. Yeah, you can take that. This is a big, this is a big item for him, but he's such a crazy snake, but and he's pretty thick too, so he'll be able to swallow that no problem. Now these little black and white spitters. I'm just gonna put a bunch in there for these guys. Let them go crazy. Put like three, three fuzzies in there. They'll eat them. We forgot to thaw out some small rats for these other these other guys, we gotta do that, like, ASAP. That's alright, we're gonna feed the rest of these to the monitors here in a little bit. Do we get all your food, dude? It's over there. All your food's over there. Let's see if these eyelashes will eat. Where is the yellow one? The other one is in shed, so it's probably not gonna eat. And that one is brand new, so he's probably not gonna eat either. So the only bet is gonna be this green one right here. Come on. Of course, the day that Justin says they're paying. Got, what else we got here? This is all a bunch of shit for me for the monitors. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna give this squam, give this squam one. We got a bigger parade in here. Let's see. I'm just gonna get one of these guys. A little squam. That's that. All right, so now, these guys have been doing really well, especially Littlefoot. Littlefoot is my hit black dragon. He's probably gonna, he might try to fight me right now because my hands smell like, smell like rats. But they've been doing really well, especially Littlefoot. Littlefoot, I could just come in his cage and I could take him out just like this. And he's super chill. And he'll eat right from my hands. Awesome. He doesn't really like swallowing it in my hands. He likes to take it and then he goes somewhere that he feels safe and then he eats the rest of it. See how he's back on his little thing? He's about to eat it. It's a fuzzy, it's a little bit. A little bit on the bigger side for him. Normally he eats a smaller fuzzy, but late, lately he's been eating some bigger meals. 
He's growing a lot. I don't know how many of you remember for him from the first time that I got him from Kevin, but he was way smaller. Like he was only eating crickets when I first got him. He was that small. He wasn't even big enough to eat dailies. And those are super small. And now he's slamming down small hoppers. At least that's what he's getting today. Sometimes I just feed him a bunch of day olds, but I, I ran out of day olds, so today's a hopper for him. And look at that, just like a snake. As soon as he finds the head, he just slams that thing down there. So cool how they eat. Latifa's so, smelling it from right above her. Latifa. Yeah, so Latifa, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna go grab a chair. I'm gonna make Latifa come out of the cage, and then I'm gonna make her eat from the tongs. And hopefully, we have a decent time together. Because Latifa is out of her freaking mind. So, let's go grab a chair real quick. All right, so that was one for him. I'm gonna give him another one, a little one smaller. He's hungry. So that'll be plenty. Two, two hoppers that size for him. He'll be good for another two days. So today's, what's Monday. Today? today's Monday, I'll feed him again, probably Wednesday or Thursday. All right, now, the crazy girl, Latifa, come here. Come on, come on out, come here. Let's go, come on, come on out. Don't try to bite my hand. Come on, let's go, come on. Got some rats, got some chicks, got all sorts of fun things for you, Latif. Come on, lure you out. Come on, let's go. You know where it's at. Come on, let's go. Let's go, look. Come on, come all the way out. Let's go, come on, come on. Can you Nope. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Hey. Come here. Stop it. Stop. Relax. Hey! <laughs> Get off of there, Taruk. Hey! That's a brand new hat! That's a brand new hat! Crazy bird. Come on, Latif. You can eat a few more. I know you got it, don't you? Oh, look. Come on, crazy person. Let's go. Taruk, what are you doing? This is not for you. Come on, crazy bird. Let's go outside and feed Tyson. All right, and in the back left corner is our main event. Tyson, the crazy man. Dude, relax. Come on. Just come out here. Did you see that? He comes flying out of his cage. Just to eat that thing. Don't mind my patio right now. I got a, so much bark from Tyson flinging stuff everywhere. That's what I gotta do in the next couple days is get him to get him to uh let me clean this place up. Hey, come on. Let's go. Come on. Look, 
Okay. Stay in your cage. Stay in your cage. It's crazy. I gotta work on calming him down eventually. It's just he gets so overwhelmed and excited with feeding. It's really hard to target train him and it's really hard to train him when he gets so excited about food, you know? He's just like, he's just such a savage when he eats. Relax, bro. Look, I'll put a big ass right out there for you. Eat that thing. I'm just gonna leave it up there. You jerk. He's getting big though. Real big. Let's go, uh, let's go feed these other little snakes and then that's it for this little feeding video. Feeding time! Bro, you're crazy. You gonna come find out the cage today? Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Such a crazy eater. Already trying to swallow me. Wild. You're a crazy snake, dude. Alright. Now we got... Rhino, give him a small rat. You like a rat, Mr. Rhino? There we go. Alright. Bada bing, bada boom. Move down to these. We got an Eastern Diamondback right here. See if you would like a rat. Would you like rats, Mr. Diamondback? Please. Leave that in there for him. Easy. He's already got dirt all in his water bowl. Great. You well, love how I just cleaned all the waters and they're already all filthy. Awesome. Give you one. Would you like one? Yes. Okay. Boom. Oh, that rattlesnake is in the shed. It might not eat. That explains why he's gonna grab that rat. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. I still got, I got some stuff left over. Don't really have anything to garbage disposal it to. Oh, careful here, Jake. That's it. So, stay tuned. Hope you like the video. Stay safe out there. Stay quarantined. Hope everybody's fucking tying in there. I know there's hard times right now, but stay entertained. Make sure you're following my Instagram if you're not already tied on tattoos. I post up on there all day to keep y'all entertained. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to this video, turn your notifications on. Peace out. Stay safe. Later.